For those of you who are familiar with my videos, you know that my principal philosophy is to drive significant change in the environment of the microbiome to favor the health-promoting bacteria. In addition, you know that I do this by understanding the microbial fingerprint of a given disease or condition combined with symptomological concerns of the individual. And this is largely done with the use of properly blended and dosed prebiotics. One of the prebiotics I often recommend in my protocols and during my consultations is what's called arabinoxylin. For much more on this, see this video here. The best source of this excellent prebiotic is bran. It could be bran from several sources, but given concerns surrounding gluten, the most popular source is rice bran. However, my protocols and consultations have been so successful that I have nearly sold out all of the available rice bran in North America and Europe. In fact, the most common email I receive is, quote, where can I find rice bran? In my protocols, I try to list other gluten and non-gluten containing options and rice bran products, which at last glance were still available in the market. I hope you're enjoying the video so far. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and recommend to friends and family. Also, if you're feeling extra generous, hit the super thanks below. However, I have found out from a number of people that they have bought rice bran solubles instead. Although rice bran solubles sounds a lot like rice bran, an honest mistake, it's not. Rice bran solubles are made to concentrate certain components of the rice bran, such as vitamins, minerals, and phytochemicals. And that's fine, but that is not the purpose for which I'm recommending it. If you look at the nutrition facts on a rice bran solubles product, and you scroll down to dietary fiber, it will most likely list less than one gram per serving, which is deceiving as it's probably far less than one gram. Of course, serving sizes vary, right? So if we compare this to rice bran, you see that roughly 20% of the volume by weight is dietary fiber, many times more. This is why I'm recommending it. I want to feed the health-promoting bacteria in your dysbiotic microbiome with the arabinoxylans present in this fiber, along with whatever other prebiotics happen to be in your protocol. So save yourself some time, effort, and money, and don't buy the rice bran solubles. You're looking for rice bran. I've been trying for months to launch my own product, but for reasons outside of my control, I have been unsuccessful. I'll keep trying. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe. Also, somewhere around here, you can go to my website where you can schedule a consultation with me. You can also view the protocols. And here, you can watch the next video.